My name is Dylan and I'm 10 years old. Today I found out that I'm moving from Britain to this country called Australia with my dad due to the Industrial Revolution, so my dad can find work. Well, that's what my dad told me anyway. Leaving Britain wasn't the worst thing in the world because there was so much crime and dad said it was becoming dangerous because of it all. Leaving Britain, we had to go on this huge ship and live in a section called a hulk, which was so overcrowded and foul smelling. The strange part is I had to wear these heavy leg irons which made it hard to move around. On the ship, I wasn't allowed to use the water closet so I had to go to the head of the ship to do my business. And worst of all, I had no toilet paper. So I had to use a rope that was soaking in this vinegar and it was the same rope that everyone else used. In 1838, when we finally arrived in Australia after seven years aboard the ship, my father and I began living in this place called Hyde Park Barracks, which is located in an area called The Rocks. At the barracks, I had to share a room called a sleeping ward with all these grown men and I had to sleep in a hammock that just hung off the ground just far enough so that I wasn't touching the ground but the rats were still trying to eat me at night. Yuck. When I first arrived at the barracks, I was given these clothes that were called slops because they were sloppy as all the clothes were made for one size and that was for grown men so dad was okay but it was too big for me. I was given a blue and white striped cotton shirt, white trousers, a blue jacket, a leather hat and a pair of shoes. To fix my sloppy clothes, dad gave me some braces to hold up my trousers. When it was time to eat, I went to a place called the mess hall and I was given this tasteless cornmeal porridge called hominy and for lunch I was given a salty meat stew with some bread. The food here isn't great but I guess it's better than what dad stole back in Britain. Well anyway, I've got to go to religious studies in the barracks now. Until next time, yours truly, Dylan.